Okay, guys, it is about 3.01 a.m. I have been singing all weekend, and I lost my voice. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna recover my voice in one day. First thing that I do when I need to recover my voice is I figure out how I lost it. So here's my specific situation right now. I sang pretty hard for about three days straight. I wasn't drinking as much water and less hydration in the folds leads me to be a little bit more open to overusing my voice. But also, how do I know that I've lost my voice? If I'm using my head voice and like all I'm getting is air, that usually tells me, mm, yeah. The second thing that I do is that I use my vocal coach superpowers to create a recovery regimen. Depending on how I lost my voice, my recovery regimen might need to be different. Number three is to implement my regimen immediately and vigorously. So here's what we're gonna do. We have our three steps, and now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna create this regimen. Number one is gonna be vigorous rehydration. I'm gonna be drinking water like a madman. Number two is going to be to get eight hours of sleep. And number three is going to be gentle use. Like for me, it's going to be me speaking higher. Now, depending on how you use your voice on the regular, if you're a chesty speaker, if you're a heady speaker, this might be different. Gentle use will also incorporate some exercises that will bring back my head voice. I need to be speaking by tomorrow and I need to be somewhere today. So let's see what happens. So, uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to um, do some lip drills in the bottom of my falsetto. Here's the big thing. My voice is probably going to come back and I'm probably going to be able to use it, but I can't let that fool me. I still have to commit to gentle use and get things working again. <laughs> My voice is back. I'm gonna sing a bit. Make me feel like even for me to go a little bit higher in my chest, it's still at risk of the sound breaking. And another thing I do to check my voice and to see where I am is uh, my lowest note. My lowest note is usually an E3. Do right. So I'm not hitting a D3. Once I get to E3 and I'm bottoming out at E3, that's when I know I'm back. I think getting your voice back is all about you knowing your voice and knowing when you're pushing yourself too hard. So like right now I'm probably at about 70%. I'm still going to treat it like a sissy. So I was talking throughout the day, but I wasn't pushing myself. And what's great about this is that I even had less sleep. So I had about mm, like five or six hours of sleep. So I'm going to continue to talk high. And the real test is going to be when I wake up tomorrow morning. And when I do, we'll check in with my voice, see how it is. In terms of percentage, I would say that yesterday I was probably at about 30 to 40 percent. I would say right now I would call myself 60 to 70. I wouldn't call myself 80. So, but it, my voice is back enough that I can warm myself up to get myself to like an 80. My sleep this weekend was has been terrible. <laughs> and I think with the extra sleep, I probably would have ended up at a bit of that morning 75 when I speak lower now. We, we, and this is where I usually speak in the morning. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. I do think we did it. Did my voice fully come back in a day? Um, it's not fully there. Like I can definitely go through this day much freer than I did yesterday. And it, yesterday was tricky because we were driving around and we were talking to people and I was playing with my God children. I'm, I'm usually like, ah, with them. But um, God is good and we got our voice back. Hopefully this kind of helps you a little bit, a little bit, a lot. And if you're looking to, you know, reclaim your voice uh, and get your voice back, definitely go watch the masterclass at reclaimyourvoice.ca slash masterclass. Subscribe to this channel if you're new, because this is the place where we help you to reclaim your voice. Reclaim your voice. Objection! Update. I don't think my voice 
is completely back. Just a clarification, I realized I didn't distinguish between my speaking voice and my singing voice. My speaking voice had come back, but my full singing range hadn't. So when I'm saying that my voice isn't completely back yet, I'm saying that there was still a little bit more of a recovery process needed in order for my singing voice, my full range to be back. The reason why is because my falsetto kind of has a little bit of a pop at the beginning. You hear that there? It starts right at, at the beginning of my breath. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue um, taking it easy and wait it out. I can speak in my lower range without strain. I would still say it's like 60 to 70. If I warmed up, I don't think I would get to 80 though. I think I would get to maybe like 75, maybe 80. So I just got off of a call. I felt like I was pushing myself a little bit too much, especially when I'm not at 100% yet. But there is one thing that actually saved me as a strategy now is I turned on my microphone, put in my in-ears, and I was monitoring myself as I spoke. And I just turned up the gain so I didn't have to talk as loudly. Now, I probably should be talking higher, but sometimes when you're just talking, you don't necessarily remember. But that quick thinking actually helped me to kind of speak in a way that was kind of acting like its own warm up. Okay, so I lied. Today is Tuesday. When we started tracking where my voice is at, it was Sunday, early morning. So today is Tuesday and it is 1224 right now. And today is when I would say that my voice is at like 90, 95%. The reason for that is because I was tracking more of my speaking voice. And I think my speaking voice was good by the second day. But today is when I feel like my singing voice is actually back. I don't feel strain when I talk. Ooh. Like I feel like there's a connection between my head voice and my chest. Think of singing that high. Ooh. It was unheard of. Like it, it would have been like, I probably would have put myself out. Throughout the days I was talking, um, I wasn't singing as much. Um, and when I would, I would sing, I, I would sing very light. And in combination with, you know, speaking lighter on my calls and on my meetings, I, I think that was a, a wise thing to do. So yeah, that's the reality of where things are, with it, where things have been at. Yeah, so that's the new kind of vloggy style that I'm trying out right now. I don't know if that's really what you guys like. If you do, put it in the comments. And if you guys are looking to learn vocal runs, like if that's something that you're looking to do, I know we break them down a lot on this channel. I've actually made a video, I'm gonna put it just right there. You're gonna be able to go to watch that, help yourself by learning how to sing vocal runs. And I'll see you guys in another video. Okay, bye everyone.